All right, if baking Christmas cookies in your home is a family tradition like it is in mine, mm -hmm. you are going to love to hear about the exciting journey for our next guest. That's right, Mario Torres is the executive chef of Cakes Plus, and this coming Monday, He's going to be making an appearance on the Food Network's Christmas Cookie Challenge. I love that. Absolutely. And what we really love is that you haven't even seen any clips or anything. You don't know what's going to happen, what we're going to see on Monday, do Absolutely. you? Absolutely. It's one of those things that they kind of keep me in secret. <laughs> okay. So Ooh. we'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, can you tell us, who were the other competitors? Uh, they were actually from all over. Okay. We had some from uh, Canada, okay. uh, Houston, New York, uh, Arizona, and then myself. Oh, from right. Tampa. were you the only Florida one? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, representing well. Well, we already have love having you on the show. We actually had you and your mom give her our love. I'm really uh, sad she's well. not here. But Cakes Plus has been here before, and we know you for your. What was it? The pan fried pound cake. Pan fried pound Whoa. cake. I was going to try to get it because it was amazing. <laughs> I, I think I was off that day. Oh, man, it that. was. Fabulous. Ooh, Fabulous. Okay. So you've got the two locations, Absolutely. correct? South Tampa and West Chase. You got it. And so if you want to well, visit how are there, your cookies? But this, yeah, I've never had the cookies. And now you get to see it. We weren't known for our cookies till now. Ah, so okay. That way we can try something new for you guys. So my cookies, though, we're going to decorate some. They're not going to turn out like this. Have you seen this yeah, picture this is yet? literally artwork. Well, we're That's calling impressive. it the, the cookie portraits. Okay. So portraits. this is something that you can do with your kids. So that way, you know how they draw and mm -hmm. you put it on the wall? This is the uh, same thing, but just edible. And how do they stick? That's what I was amazed with. Just icing. Icing, absolutely. Okay. So you can actually get them from the wall and eat it. Now, what is the, the going back to the competition, what was the competition? It's, like it's, how, like just simply looks? Was it time? Like, for example, it it's definitely times. Okay. Uh, we had a lot of, um, from the actual competitors uh, for hours, uh, we had to do ombre, in other words, different colors. Okay. And if you pass that, you actually had a lighting um, cookie, so 3D cookies that you had to do. 3D? Well, aren't wow. these 3D? No. <laughs> no, these We're are not 3D. standing oh, and everything. Okay. Absolutely. Actually, so, not too shabby. Thanks. I'm trying. I was, I was coming up with a game plan. <laughs> So, what is your secret then for people doing cookies? A lot of people doing this time of year. Any tips you can give us? Honestly, just have fun with it. You're literally playing with your food. So, <laughs> how bad could that it's be? It's actually allowed. Exactly. <laughs> so, how bad could it be? So, if you do like doing cookies, the worst thing that can happen, you know what? You get to eat it. And I and we do have a tradition in my house where the ones that don't turn out right, they're like, yeah, we're not setting that one out. <laughs> Those are the ones that do get eaten quite quickly as well. Actually, in my house, but we kind of do it on purpose so that way you get to eat it. Nice. <laughs> well, again, we want to make sure you've got cookies, you've got cakes, now you've got reality shows. What's next on your plate, Mario? Because I just feel like you're doing a ton of stuff. Uh, we are, and what I want to do is, is we're going to start classes for kids, especially more towards the summer, so that we get oh, them cool. involved early, oh, so cool. they feel the joy that I did when I was growing up. Because you, again, you talk a lot about how you did grow up and spent time with your mom, and that's how everything kind of started for Cakes Plus, right? Absolutely. I was always into sports, so for me, cooking wasn't like a priority. But now that I'm actually growing up, I actually love it. I can't see myself without doing it. How did you find out about this competition? Did you see it online and sign up, or did someone enter you they <laughs> without you knowing? They actually contacted me, okay, so no I, I got lucky into it. Um, I'm not sure if it was through Facebook or, or the uh, Instagram, but somehow, some way, they contacted me, and I had to go through a series of, uh, I guess, of shows. Okay. And so, like an and, audition for us. Exactly, audition. So you auditioned for it, and just out of curiosity, you won the whole thing, right? I can't say. <laughs> what? You have to stay tuned. <laughs> There's the information, so you can check out and see Mario compete for yourself Monday. Thank you so much for coming in. We no, enjoy it. You're a winner in our books now. no matter what happens. Though. I appreciate so it. Come thank back, you. all right? I definitely will. Thanks. All right. Well, hey, we all indulge over the holidays, and one community wants you to enjoy yourselves because they have a healthy event to start your new year off right, and I'm even helping kick it off. Avalon Park West, Wesley Chapel's premier.